I'd say still say a favorite, perhaps, for this tournament. They are definitely one of the, if not the strongest uh, team right now. Of course, playing with the one arm time behind their back, as we know, with uh, the kid not being able to play in this match. But we'll see if they can hopefully return. Yeah, swiftly oh, there. Looking at this oh. now, it, there's so much good carry stuff. There's act actually Psyblade, Fleck, Cambridge, Essence, Chaos Strike, Windrun. Oh, absolutely insane. Also, the new track can be pr quite good because it just flat out gives you sp uh, damage amp. Yeah, the I new um, the new the deluge first pick as well. Is on Slarky, for... uh, on Slar uh, it's Cambridge. the Cambridge. It's smart. It's smart. Denying the, the greed from now they have greed on two heroes. They have greed on Slark and they have greed on Alchemist because it's an innate on Alchemist, so they can completely outfarm. Yeah. Oh, but Gyro, the Rocket Barrage, it's a bit of a grief. And also, Boros Strike on... Somebody has to do the insane illusion build. And also, leaving Flag Cannon to Windrunner would be a big mistake if they do that. Leaving well, if they leave them, um, there's no Chaos Knight. But yeah, we've got Mirror Images, we've got Phantasm. Oh, and they want to make yeah. Faceless Void to carry. I'm not convinced yet. And I really hope that uh, Windrunner takes one of the... Ah, but, man, there's too, there are too many options, honestly, here. But Windrunner yeah. can either go for a meme like Essence and Time Lock with Focus Fire. Yeah, Windrun or, first. Yeah, okay, Windrun and Flag Cannon, then is it, it's going to be 100% Flag Cannon. Yeah. Then his uh, double Essence axe. Is still yeah. in the... Yeah. Yeah, but you have to counter the the elo builds here now if faceless white gets mirror image phantasm and reality rift or f side blades and some illusions he's super annoying you should go mirror image now for the faces void because you ah, oh okay. ah, that's such a trap that's normally not good because it's a, a bit of a trap it's a noob trap to pick focus while it has really low win rate but Many people think it's super strong, and I mean it, it's okay-ish, but it's really not one of the top tier abilities in the in this game. No, it's a hard committal kind of ability, so it's really hard to hit. Picking picking the essence shift, melee range. Not really what you want. Gyro just getting gyro stuff, and now I wonder what Slark does. He can actually do something like side blades and mirror image. And yeah. Nope. Okay. Can't do side blades anymore. Time <laughs> Okay. And now you get pounds probably on on, on Slark. You well, need some mobility. Mirror image. Yeah. Pounds makes sense. Yeah. Pounds would make more sense. Pounds of dark pact on, on Slark now would make most sense. Yeah. Agonims. Oh, reality rift. At least something to. He needs a catch. Uh, yeah. a catch. So it's it's fine. Yeah, but Templar gets pounds now. Then okay. Yeah. If Templar gets pounds next, this Agonims upgrade is huge. I want. I think Piggy gonna get pounds because uh, he really. Yeah, Juggling track is not bad actually, because you got a nice spammy a bit spammy here. Yeah, here and you get spell amp on your spell amp on your uh, already. The, uh, if you get a shard on top, let's say it like that, and track someone plus the twenty percent spell amp on level three track that's dealing insane damage. Uh, Sand mm -hmm. King again, Sandstorm with Sand King getting a really good build here. Time Walk plus Bristleback and Quill Spray. Probably wants an X at some point. Maybe getting Epicenter on top and the Shard later on. Yeah, but now they left Pounds to the Faceless Wider. I really think it would have been better for Piggy to get it. Because now Pounds enables this, this white build. It was shit before, now it's actually a decent build. Windrunner going for the third uh, Agonims upgrade. Naga, maybe. Making eels of all of his teammates and uh, the fourth. I'm no. not the biggest fan of the snare. It's but... not bad. It's, it's still an Agonims upgrade, but it's just not uh, as Ah, but why not good. just get the mirror image on top of your universal hero? It's, it's value. Yeah, or even like Sandstorm. That's the other version of Riptides on Hedgehog, yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, it gets the epicenter as expected and bounty hunter. Uh, yeah, time dilation, really good spell. People always underrated. And I have to say, I'm not convinced, Masliata. I'm not convinced by this. I think the gyros gyros draft is pretty damn strong. Yeah. Very easy to execute. Very simple. Has a one clear objective. Slug knocking, dark pack, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. slug. It's it's one of the shittiest hero models, but with this kind of build, bad. with this kind of yeah. build, it's actually strong. It could do things. Yeah. Even the slug is strong with this, and he has the greed, so he has insane GPM. If he goes something like Radiance uh, into some tanky, tanky stuff, maybe a Halberd for the Windrunner. Uh, yeah. Who I do think you think came out of that draft ahead, Blob? Overall, slight advantage for, for uh, Masliata again, but it's not it's not as clear as, as last game. I think last game Masliata had a way better draft, and this time... I think the drafts are pretty decent on, on Sub Family. Slug, okay ish. Gyro, actually, an in, in insane support. Mm. He has so much damage potential and also the snowball potential with track, with the track gold for his team. And P I don't like the piggy build that much, I have to say. I think he's gonna struggle again on mid. Prepare for battle. And the you classic smoke again by tried. level one smoke by Masliata. Oh, which one? Overlay. Yeah. It even looks like uh, got some hero hero specialists on the bounty hunter. Got a grandmaster bounty hunter here in this game as well. Ooh, and only one spell from bounty hunter. That's all he needs. That's that's how he's so good. That's all he needs. It looks like they dodge each other again, like in the Indeed. first game. Oh, Slark, don't do it. But he has night vision, so... Ah, and he already spotted the ward on, with his innate. Holy shit, that's so good. I think he knows exactly yeah, he where pings going, it. Yeah. He is pinging it. He says, like, it's there. Free gold for the mid laner of, of Sip Family. They are waiting, they are like, shit, he found it. And he spams. Whatever this means, <laughs> it's it's a disrespect, I'm sure. And they're flaming each other already. I'm sure that's flaming, right? Somebody maybe in <laughs> chat. <laughs> Somebody in chat. <laughs> maybe translator who speaks Russian. I hope it's some shit talk. <laughs> As I'm disappointed. Ah. He said, you're on the right. <laughs> <laughs> and also a D ward by... Oh, 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 a very late gank. We're going to see the rotation in the top lane. They're going to go for Hedgehog, Hedgehog here. The stun's going to come out and then the Blood yeah, Grenade. And I think it's going to be the kill of a Blood Grip. Hedgehog there. One more likely will do it. And Lost Forever is going to get that kill. Very sneaky, choosing to wait there with, while the team rotates around and actually gets the kill. Actually, a suboptimal lane here for Faceless Void against uh, the, Essen the Melee Essence Shift. Uh, melee versus Melee and Essence Shift normally feels kind of good. For the one with Essence Shift. So, uh, so let's see uh, what yeah. the lanes. I guess the slug should be fine with his innate. Getting the region, it just has to hide a little bit whenever necessary. Gets 10 region from level 1 uh, innate. And Sandstorm just needs level. He's weak early, but once he has some levels. Thinking of down, down the bot lane, Sandstorm being very, very low. Not really gonna fall there. Yeah, Imagine no gonna win. Courier though. Radiant They're gonna tower. snipe the courier That's as they come to the tower, unfortunately. Yeah, no level. Well, now he has one level in time work, so. That, that should make the aggression much easier to manage. Meanwhile, Sariha going oh. a little bit ham here. Reality, you have to pull them back. 
Blood Grenade as well, the stun, and this should be the next kill. So and that gets him. Hellrake is gonna get the second one. I just set you free. Yeah, and he gets the greed on top, so... Also, the ward they, that he spotted hasn't been de-warded. He assumed that they were all there. He didn't actually spot it as a ward. Should have seen. Oh, mid faceless oh, wise. Mid lane on a one, one more right click to do it. Oh. That's what I meant. Survive. The essence shift feels bad. If it... Ah, now he's look now. He now it does fun. And it kind of feels bad as a melee to play against essence shift. Yeah. But they don't really have a range who can be their their mid laner. Because Chiro they went for support. Oh, and he's missing CS. Let's. Let's watch something else. Oh, top. Top looks like yep. very healthy both. Some things back and forth, but no actual kill potential. Yeah, but right there's now. some kill potential by the gyro on the on the crystal pack, I guess, once he has level three. And because if he commits his stuns, gets the then Bounty gets the time dilation off and Gyro can catch up. Meanwhile, bot lane, Sun King's gonna fall again here. Another chemical uh, oh, time work on concoction. Is that sticky? That's gonna be the Plastics. kill there. Oh, then Wasn't able to get away. And uh, the thing about Slug, his base damage is actually decent. Uh, but the, the biggest weakness of Slug is his stat skin. It's just so bad. 1.5 agility. Really, really bad stats gain. I think it looks like they buffed it a bit. I think it was 1.8 strength gain on uh, on Slug most of the time. Okay. Let me quickly check his win rate. I think it, is it not the lowest hero anymore? Oh, Slug not the lowest win rate hero anymore. There are now seven heroes below him. 45% win rate on, on Slark at the moment. That's too bad. Near near 50. Not the best to be honest, but oh, again, going for more aggressive action here in the bot lane. But no kill this time round. Yeah, and Slark, he's gonna be fun. Uh, normally what I prefer when you play uh, a greed build is getting at least one item early that uh, helps you in farming, so either Radiance or Maelstrom. It looks like he decides to be more of an aggressor and goes for a, an early defusal blade. That makes sense. It, it works if he wants to fight. If he wants to fight, that's yeah. actually fine. You can also play with Camrage like that as a fighter. And mid lane, at least this time. Oh, ball lane again, Sandstorm. You only got one jump, but you're gonna be using it in time. Should be fine with He's time gonna be using it right now here. Yeah. The aggression though is pretty non stop from the bottom lane here. Yeah, but it looks like Piggy is happy this time. Uh, with his build for mid. I was. I just think. Uh, when I think about the scaling on. on Piggy. Yes, it's, he's annoying in the lane, but the thing about That's Essence great. Shift is it's good in the lane, in a matchup like this, melee against melee, but in the long run, in the later stages of the game, where you burst people up so fast, it's not as good anymore, the Essence Shift. It's good for long fights and stuff, but if people jump you and just yeah. stun you and burst you, Essence does absolutely nothing for you. Oh, he doesn't get the the region rune. White in position, securing it, winning the 50-50 bet. Well, we see the same thing has happened in game one, where Sip family are taking the lead early on. Meanwhile, Bob again, Lane, Alchemist getting. It's gonna have to be very careful here, but Sandstorm doesn't have a jump for a few seconds. It's gonna be a little bit careful here. There might be a stun. Oop, and there it is, he's gonna turn around on... Oh, he's isn't gonna the oh, I guess. Oh, Is that a suicide? No. A sandstorm? No time work ready? Not really able to. I think they're gonna be able to find him. So that's gonna be the kill. Another two kills for Sim oh. family. And... 
Trying to steal the rune. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little the bit too early. Getting... Is he in vision? Stats oh, him! He gets the stun above and him. And he can stun him again. Yeah, gets the kill. Get killed and the rune. You the big, wap, wap. big win for Mazliata here. Getting both XP runes. So they at least they are fine in XP. We're behind before. Now it's completely equal in XP. And just about equal for money as well. Yep. A slight lead. Just I mean, a, they have, double, they have two game heroes game. with Camrage, so... That's true. They should be, they should be a little... I will two with Greed. I mean, Greed was Greed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Gyro. Oh. He's going to fall there. Not getting it. Not sure what he was doing in the... Maybe trying to pick up some items from the, from the secret shop. Has been killed. Not exactly sure. And now like Slark levels. The wave down. Yeah, Slark level six, so he has a lot of sustain now. From, from his, how is it called, Bar Barracuda, and from the Cambridge. Ooh. Oh, they might looking for this kill. They're gonna see you. They're gonna be in two fights on two sides of the map. Sansa's gonna be focused Stairs, on the left hand side. We're heading on the right. On the left. On the right. Sansa's gonna be trying to get away. The power shot's gonna miss by Yoto, but it's gonna do the battery uh, rocket barrage. Yeah, to get this both kill. dying. Both dying. Pistol back ends. TA ball falling. And the TA ball as well. Yeah. Pick. So, for those who missed the, uh, the first game, we saw uh, the biggest upset of the year and Sip Family taking out or winning game one against uh, Masliata. And Masliata now has to win this, this game. Bet it's the best of three. So, Masliata has to win or they drop to the lower brackets. And. Masliata had a 31 game win streak, uh, which just ended last game. And one contributing factor of that is that the star player of Masliata, the kid, had a house fire yesterday and no electricity and cannot. Play. Another series of fights going yep. on in the bot lane, though, we can see. It's going to be the epicenter going to be you. Sansa going to try and catch Hailrig. Oh. One more right click will do it. And he managed to. Yoko is trying to get himself away here with the Proc to him. be an extra speed. Shackle comes out nicely and doesn't even want to get me one out at all. And an essence. Another quick two kills. Yeah, that was important for Masliata now to. To get something and they get a kill on the uh, farm support. Wait, let me quit. Quite farm support of uh, of Sip family and the highest net worth hero in the in the game, Slark. And Slark is gonna be actually big, and he wants to go for a mage layer. Uh, yeah, pretty good against the Sand King. Top lane again. Just at the tier one, uh, a rune spawn on the top side of the river. It's gonna be another fight here. Hedrock's gonna be killed with a rocket barrage. They're gonna try and go on to the Naga now. Biggie is gonna be under threat here, but it looks like they're gonna turn around on the Alchemist. The Alchemist now forced to run back. Samsung jumping forward aggressively with his time warp, but he's gonna be able to get away from them. At the end of the day, it's only Sandstorm who's fallen on the Sand King. Um, oh, no, no, Bristleback. No, Bristleback, the Ginseng. Oh. Yeah. Or, no, Hedgehog. It's Hedgehog. Hedgehog, yeah. And I like the Gyro build. I think you should at least put... Um, not max the power shot anymore. So two levels, Dyer's keep it two levels in power shot, max the attack. rocket barrage in a homing missile, get your shard. Yeah, get the shard. Then top of spamming abilities, get track out as well. Yeah. With the yeah. spell and from track, he's gonna deal so much magic damage. And once his, so once his missile hits, he can just power shot on top. Once his target is stunned, guaranteed hit. I think a lot depends here on Windrunner for Masliata. Best build on, on Masliata's team. Ooh. Lost Forever going on the Wind Ranger solo. Looking to try and get these kills here. Power shot gonna come out as well. Shackle shot on him as well. Flame Mail was used, but he does have. The Shadow Dance, if you ever feel that threatened. 
So for those wondering what are those weird sounds that coming uh, from my mic, it's me making a delicious drink. I suggest every one of you, the viewers, also to get a good drink and try this beautiful game uh, on this Sunday with us. Oh, Yoto going to try and get a solo <laughs> kill, but Sadson chases him away with the epicenter. That's still going off. Finally, it's stopped. But uh, unfortunately, Malcolm is trying to get this kill, but so they have to be stunning himself. They're gonna look for this return kill, but they're not really gonna get it. The War Rackling will do oh. a power shot, does miss. Yes. But Zarya's gonna kill himself here on the creep wave. It's and fine, it's a deny. The fight continues though, this as Gyro is chasing so down. aggressive. Doesn't find him though, but here comes Oz forever with more kills, and there's a pounce. He's gonna land, and they're gonna keep going forward. Hail Rake, you're gonna have that Diffuser Blade. Focusing Piggy under the tier 2 tower, Glyph gonna be used, the TP cancelled by their support as well. <sighs> is Sip Family doing it again? Um, oh dear, I think Piggy actually tried to TP home and was actually TPing back to the tier 2 tower. Was he? In the same spot, yeah. I mean, That's what it looked like. Because only it his TP's on cooldown. Has I mean, I think it was Windrunner who can try Windrunner's to TP TP's not on cooldown, no. no she didn't Windrunner? have a TP on cooldown, no. Nah, oh, no, no, it's on cooldown. It must have been Windrunner. She doesn't have one and it's on cooldown for half of the time, so... Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, YOLO, finding Sansom again. Constantly chasing, and then actually looking to chase in the Ancients here as well. I guess I find another kill onto the PT. And a stack to steal. Oh, Sandstorm. One stun. Looking for this oh, kill. Oh, he's missing. Epicenter just off the mark. Hailwreck is still there though. He's gonna try and look for this kill. Chrono's still ready. Is drawn out. They're gonna try and kill the kill. Reality Rift down to try and get the kill there. They're gonna get the first one on Hedgehog. And Hailwreck chasing for Sandstorm. Reality Rift is thrown out now. Can't they, just the have no, they have no answer at the moment on, on Masliata to no. this aggression. Sanking is very low though, it's going to be very dangerous and actually he's he dying to the be dead here. No, he's not dead. He jumps away. But they do finally kill off the gyrocopter and now they're looking for the slug as well. Would be a big kill for them. And to get and it. Now here he goes. That was... Doesn't count, you know everything. But big, uh, big kill for Masliata. How much gold did he get? Only eight hundred and thirty gold for this kill on the Slark. I was expecting more, since he's the highest net worth in the game. Yeah, still not very tanky on on Slark. Only thirteen hundred HP, but some magic resistance with Mage there. Yeah, it's just about getting Dyer's there. I think the big problem is going to be later on, um, the Windrunner. Because this time this build is really strong. Once he has his eggs, his, I think it's on the, on the Korea. He's yeah. on the Korea. He gets Invis in the Windrunner. Another fight. There's a Chrono there, but they're not going to really be able to stop with Faces Void. Hedgehog running up through it as well. Looks like they're going to get the first kill onto the Gyro once more. Focusing the Ono now. They're going to try and get him out with the Illusions. The stun's going to come out and actually going to help Lost Forever get a second kill. They're gonna focus on Piggy now as well. They're gonna try and burrow strike away. Being chased down now by Hillrig. Reality Rift in one Fantasm. second. Gonna pull back the Wind Ranger, but actually goes invis as you can't find them as the Aghanims just got delivered. Piggy now burrow striking away again. Oh, he's cut trapped. through the trees and find exactly where they are. Another kill for them. Meanwhile, support's coming in. TP from Hedgehog, I think. Cancelled. It's too late now. I thought for a moment that maybe now that the Windrunner uh, Scepter arrived, they can fight back. They used Chrono, they used uh, Ravage, and still didn't have enough to kill. I think they killed the Gyro, but who cares? Yeah, the Gyro was the support, and he's gonna, only going to get stronger. He's going for a. Uh... I think it was Guardian Greaves' first item. He could, he, he could go for so much more damage right now as well. He really wanted to. It looks like they're going to try and get a kill here on this Wind Ranger. The Invis is coming out. They are tracking her. I think they haven't got the track, though. Oh, Phantasm out. No, he dies. Ah, but I don't really to find her yet. The Epicent is going to come out as well there. There's no yeah. track, actually. It was the Shadow Blade, Shadow Dance that I assumed that they had. Now, Sandstorm on the run. Power shot from all the way down below. Going to try and catch him, but not really going well. 
They're chasing now the illusion, but they're not gonna catch it. And Sansom now gonna be the refocus. Time walks away. Can they keep chasing him there? The barrage is coming out, but they don't feel like they can take up up that climb to the tier three tower without more uh, follow up. Chaos Bolt thrown out and the Shaka now onto Yoto, but Yoto is gonna be just fine. Another reality riff by Hellrake. Hellrake's gonna be chasing out Hedgehog. Hedgehog is very low HP. There's a bow strike though. Two man stun on everyone there. And then Lost Forever forced to pop the ultimate now. Hellrake focusing on everyone is super low. And Sansom gonna be really careful. Now Yoto's just diving forward with the barrage again. Hellrake gonna get a second kill and another reality riff. Here's gonna be the third kill. The stun's gonna come out again from the low ground with an unstable concoction. Yes, and it looks like there's gonna be another kill. Four members down now, finally, for Maziata. Uh, Maziata has to stop fighting here. They have to slow down this fucking game. They have Trek and... Oh my god. It's, uh, how many... This one? All Trek kills. Just look at the gold that Supermily got from this. 4k gold swing just from this fight. Five men wipe for zero casualties on Supermily. They have to slow down the game. They have to get the axe on Sand King. They have to get a shard on Sand King and they need like one more item on the Windrunner. And Piggy, no, this is not enough from Piggy what he has. He has just an Echo Saber. I'm not even sure if that's the right choice. I think Piggy has to be the one going in, getting the attention. Then, then Sand King jumps in with Epicenter and Time, time Walk. Jumps in, uh, casts his Bristol back with an Aghanim Scepter. That's the way how... And Windrunner just runs in, Flag, can uh, yeah, flag Cannon and Phantasm creates chaos with all the Elos. That's how they have to fight. But it's so chaotic, they get ca get caught by one by one on Masliata. Not together, not uh, using their Chrono and Dyer's their Ravage tower. properly to kill key targets on Sip family. No, you're so completely right. I think mistakes. currently they're being, they're being outplayed a little bit on yeah. the map here. And again, yeah. the aggression continues with Piggy is stuck on the top. He's dead. He's they're going to try dead. and save his teammate with the epicenter, but he's already gone. And now he's on the ret retreat. Sounds like having to jump away after having popped his epicenter. And there's nowhere to go. And he's going to be ran down by Hellrake and Yoto. Mech gonna be popped and they're ready to go once more, looking for more people to kill. Illusions would be popped there. Oh, the Aghanim's Phantoms. Um... 17k gold, 19 minutes in. If, if you would have. Radiance and Lost Forever as well. If, if we had uh, someone uh, giving betting odds for this series, I, would, I think it would have been like. You get like. 1% uh, back if, if you bet on uh, Masliata winning Masliata. and 3 times your money if you bet on Sif Family. And now we're gonna probably, it all looks like a 2-0 for, for Sif Family. I can't, yep, all I of can't a believe it! And again, they go chase him down. He's got another jump, jump to go if he wants in two seconds. He's got Cam Rage to pop if he wants it as well. Finally turns it on. The reality route is going to be used as well, but it's going to be stopped by the Chronosphere. The power's coming nothing, in. Doing nothing, the but Chrono. Everyone is so low already, and Rossweb is running forward. Has forced to use the Shadow Dance. They're going to maybe kill the Gyrocopter, which they're fine with killing Yoto. Actually, Yoto going to be able to pop Garden Greaves. And look at everyone's health! A Three. big ravage coming out as well, but they've already lost one. They're going to lose more here. Well, the two man start a really good unstable concoction. That's suddenly four heroes dead. With the only sacrifice being that that gyrocopter again on that support build. A really easy, um, a really easy exchange that they're happy to take. And Sip family now sensing there's lots of this blood in the water. And they're gonna try and take all these tier two towers down. The first to fall being on the bot lane. What was the silence here on everyone? That was the he was silenced on on on, uh, on TA. Didn't get out his. Uh, it was the trap, psionic traps. It silences after a uh, channel. Trap, the trap. They got the shard. Okay, that was so big. Because yeah. he didn't get out his his Cambridge, uh, his Ravage on, on TA when he wanted to. And when he Ravaged, it had no fucking impact at all. Because everyone was so low already and they were not ready to fight anymore. And it didn't even help them to escape. So 
everything going wrong here for Masliato. Yeah, they really need their star player, it looks like. They need their, their kit. And the aggression doesn't stop. Tier 2 tower on the mid lane is going to be the focus, but they're going to get this other kill here. Epicenter could be thrown. Here comes the big jump in by everyone there. Owner's going to be the focus as well. Owner's oh, going to go one against Piggy. He's actually going to fall. Owner's going to survive the second shackle shot that came out as well. Phantasm going to be used to try and keep his arrested team alive, but no. And then Hail Ray just runs up the cliff and demolishes. And now Hedgehog T1. And now Hedgehog has got nothing else to do. Triple kill for Hail Ray. And the whole base is there. Holy shit! They are trashing them. 27k lead. 22 minutes in. I mean, they are not calling to cheat because they didn't lose, uh, lose any big objectives yet, but they are so far ahead at this yeah. point, and I don't see a way back. Windrunner doesn't have any. I mean, it deals a little bit of damage, but not oh, enough. Look at the level difference as well. It's painful. Yep. Yeah. And what can they do right now? Sip family are just five manning onto their tier threes and the racks. And Storm they need anything. to be careful here. Gale yeah, Force pushing damage. everyone into the into the back. They're gonna get the reality rift as well. Everyone very low. The Chronos are gonna be used. He's only gonna catch one person. Lost Ferrari is perfectly fine with that. He wasn't in Shadow Dance. And Phantasm finally used again to kind of keep all these illusions, but they've already lost the TA. No Ravage anymore as well, and the Rax is now open for a taking. And look how healthy the rest of the team is! Yeah. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. <laughs> getting creeped in one second as well. Getting out played completely here on Marsliata. This game literally looks like a formality. Reality Rift again onto Sandstorm. That's Sandstorm gonna have to try and time walk away, but I'm not sure he's gonna be able to get out of there in time. Oh, nice, nice Shackle stuff. shot! Sansom finally does actually get into the right distance away, but it oh, completely gets destroyed by Hellrig still. Lost Forever now zoning everyone back into the fountain, and Honor even deciding that the fight in the fountain was the right choice. Mantling the dodge that uh, Chaotic Strike as well. What the fuck, they have a, a nullifier on Slug. The amount of gold on this team. 30k gold lead. In 24 minutes. That's what happens when you get double Greebles Greed with track on the same team. Yeah. With a decent right click. And look, Eric still going forward. Honor going forward again. Trying to catch this skill force, trying to shove everyone back. But they're going to get the kill first onto yeah. Hedgehog one That's more time. It. Now it's going to be Eugenia. Lost Forever killing here. And they finally, Eric killing the I team. I think they're going to call it in, in a few seconds. This is, this is just I think over. there's nothing more that they can be, do they can be doing here. This is just over here. Holy shit, Zip family! They go like, yeah, that's... Another dive into the tier 4s, uh, and they just don't have the HP, and there's uh, a miscommunication! Ah, oh, he's use using the, everything! He used this... Zerp damage coming out no, from then. No, 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 and no. the Gale Force is actually popping them, going into the fountain! No. They're forced to stay out there! BKB forced to pop right outside your fountain, that's not where you want to use it. And the supports are solo level. Both the supports are still level 9! They've yet to reach double digits in this 25 minute game and Hailbreak is like, you know what? I'm just going to 1v4 you. I am not afraid here. And look, the fighting is going on literally at the oh, start of the Oh, at least they get one kill with the, with the net. It was a big snare. kill. That support kill gave them about a thousand gold. <laughs> yeah, because they're so... They're not losing. Oh, yeah. Holy base, shit! They're they're getting another kill. Oh, and GG is going to be called. Oh, of course, the lead hit. A tragedy. What a play. Yeah, Masliata without the kids is not as scary anymore. Let's be real. This was... This was just a complete outplay by, by Sip Family. So really well executed. Normally, Sip Family always falls, like we saw yesterday in the game against Trukalki. They fall apart after the laning stage pretty quickly. Normally, but these two games they had drafts Composure. that scaled. They had scaled. No, they had scaling this time. Scaling out of the both times they scaled out of the laning stage and just ke kept dominating them. They never stopped fighting. They, they Masliata had just no chance to come back into this game, and they would have needed a a, a player like the kid on 
Nothing against Pierre. Pierre is a really good player, but he's not as good as the kid. Uh, and the kid is someone who, in a game like this, he still finds the space to to get a lot of gold. And uh, he takes fights when he knows when to take them. And he his map awareness is just so good. And that's that's the difference. That's what Amazliata would have needed here. A really strong position. One who can actually fight back into the... Into the uh, Sip family course. That's what they were, were lacking. Pierre tried his best, but yeah, he's not uh, not as good as the kids.